Alright, hey guys, it's Ashley again, and today I'm going to be doing McKaylee's room tour. Now, keep in mind that I'm going to do this room tour just because I want to, like, a before and an after room tour. We just actually moved in to one of our family friends' house. He is moving away for a couple years, um, a year or two, and so we moved in here to take care of it. It was an awesome offer and um, whatnot, so it's a great house, big house. Uh, so, yeah. We just moved in, and this is McKaylee's room now. It doesn't really have a theme or anything. It's just all her stuff in her room. Um, I do want to eventually have a theme for her, but uh, we're not sure exactly how long we're going to be here. So until I know exactly how long we're going to be here, I'm just going to stick with this. So if I do, if and when I do the, um, like, theme, I guess, or whatever, um, or get more things I will update the room tour but this is what it is for now so right now we're in the hall and this is her bedroom door and I have an M that I want to put up here but I don't know how to put it up because I don't want to like poke holes and everything but um there's an Emmet that I want to put up there and then so this is her room and this is an overview so you walk in this is to your right so she's got a pretty a big room for a two-year-old I'd say um it's not that big of a room, but with the size of her bed, it looks pretty huge. So we're just going to start when we directly walk in. So you walk in, and I have her um, robe on the back of the door. And then I have this dresser that my grandma gave me that was actually mine up until we moved, but now it's hers. <laughs> Um, so first of all, we have her cowboy hat up here, which she wears all the time. We just recently went to the stock show, and that's where I bought it. Um, so yeah, stock show, rodeo, she got that. She loved it. Um, in here, this bucket is just, like, puzzles, and, um, like, that's her bath paint stuff, crayons, puzzles. This puzzle, this long puzzle that's holding the hat on right here, is a, uh, like, alphabet puzzle, but we're missing quite a few, um, letters and then this right here this backboard thingy is actually like one of those like squishy boards that you like put like pictures into oh my gosh it's gonna fall and I made this for her in my teen mom class oh here she comes I made this for her in my teen mom class um two years ago I think so yeah and then this piggy bank is actually a piggy bank and when you put coins into the top of it it oinks at you but it's also like squishy like a stuffed animal too um, but somehow, magically, in the move, all of her, um, money is gone. Hmm. And then this little elephant is her favorite elephant. She's obsessed with elephants. So, this one's her favorite one. I got this one when we went to the circus. It's the, um, greatest show on earth was the name of it, but it was like two, I can't remember which one, Barnum and whatever that is and then also another like circus in with it but I got this for this little thing was like 20 bucks and mind you this thing's not even the size of my hand this thing was super expensive <laughs> and then we have this doll that my aunt got her for Christmas hey don't make a mess um we have this doll that my aunt got her for Christmas it's almost the size of her when it stands up but I have nowhere else to put it so I just put it up there um and then this thing opens up into like a desk it's like this is like a vintage dresser, I guess, from like the 50s. But anyways, in here, so if you guys can't see very well, this lighting's terrible. Um, this is her train whistle that we have from a local, um, like, really famous train shop here in Colorado. And then I have her VHSs that she likes. Um, she, yes, we do watch VHS still. She's got like three, Focus Focus, uh, 101 Dalmatians, Pocahontas. And then Sleeping Beauty, so I keep those right there. And then back there, she just got a random shoe from when she was a baby baby that I cannot find the match to anywhere, so I just put it in there. And then this little thing is like, um, like it makes noises, I don't know. It goes with like her books, you press them and it matches with the books. Um, and then in here I have, this is a photo album. Ooh, as I... This is actually a photo album that my McKaylee's daycare made for us um, before we left, before I graduated. It's all of the pictures from this last year of her at school and 
whatnot. It was super, super sweet of them to put this all together. And, I don't know. I just love it. I miss it a lot. So, it was really cool to get one of those. I have one from last year, too. But it's still in storage somewhere, so I have to find it. Uh, but they make one every year for um, the kids. So, well, I guess the parents, not really the kids. And then we just have pins. Little pin things that she's gotten from the years. <laughs> And then we have, hold on, one sec. We have her, I don't want to get too close, because I don't want you guys really to see, like, location and name and stuff, but um, that's her pillow from the hospital when she was born, and those, this little bear, and there's one back there, too, um, that she had when she was in the hospital, it was in her um, bassinet. And then this is her laptop, which she painted blue, and then her, it's a fake little game one, and then she has my sister's old Game Boy, as well as a iPhone type thing, I guess. And this thing usually would be filled with her hair stuff, but right now it's just got, um, calm down, girl. It's just got my sunglasses in it, uh, because we don't have all of her hair stuff here yet. And then, hey, be nice. Sorry, I guess the, the dog's in here. Um, then these are her DVDs. These are a select few, let me remind you. And then there's also two back down there. Um, she has a ton of DVDs, a ton of VHSs, but that's all that would fit in here to get this thing to close. So, and then back here, we have, those are her first two hats when she was born and in the hospital. And then this thing's really cool. This is one of my favorite, Mimi, calm down. This is one of my favorite gifts I got. Um, this is actually from Things Are Remembered Custom Engravers. And one of my mom's friends at work, Michaela. Sorry, she's chasing the dog. One of my mom's friends at work got this for her, and it's a brush and comb set. But the cool thing about it is it has her name engraved in it. So I don't know why that won't focus, but it has her name engraved in here, and then her name and her birth date engraved up there. So I think it was super, super expensive, and we hardly ever use it um, just because I don't want to ruin it. It's more of like, I guess, a keepsake than anything else. Um, so yeah, so that's the top section, and then she has the first little drawer, and this little drawer is actually, um, just for, like, bathing suits, because it's really, like, not very deep, so I just have her bathing suits, which this is also only, like, a third of her bathing suits. Keep in mind, we have a ton of stuff still in storage, because we haven't gotten everything unpacked yet, but this is about all that's going to fit in her room right now, so it's about all I have. She has... I would say at least four to six other bathing suits, but she has this one, she has a lot of tutu ones, that one, the one underneath there, and then she has her her hats and one diaper cover, I don't know why I still have that, but she has um, a summer hat and then her winter hats are over here, and that's her zoo hat. Um, her underwear, we're starting to potty train, she is not working well with potty training, so her tights and then more tights, and she has more tights somewhere, but I don't know what happened to those. Kita, watch out. Kita. Kita, go. Sorry, guys. And then in here, we have all of her pants. So these are jeans and jean like pants. These are um, sweats, 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 all the way back there. And then leggings till about here. Then skirts, skirts, skirts. And then these are um, shorts back there. And then these are matching, like, full, like, two-piece, but matching, um, top and bottom, uh, pajamas. And then the bottom drawer, she has shirts, which are, um, these are long sleeve to the back. And then these are short sleeve, short sleeve, short sleeve. And then there's a couple, like, mixed in here. And then two sweaters back there. And then that's, like, a halter top. And then she has, um onesie pajamas I guess and then more leggings it goes leggings to shorts hey get down and then she has okay you can have your elephant sorry guys and then she has um, more pajama sets back there oh and then I also have laundry that's still getting to go in there so um so then this is her closet this is the next thing over she's got so much stuff let me tell you guys all this like all these clothes that you see in here right now Plus the ones in the dresser are literally about a third of her wardrobe, if not a fourth. She has so many clothes, I don't even know what to do with all of them. So I have a step stool because I'm super short, so you can't really see anything. 
Um, That's better. Up here we have her dresses, and they go from the lightest and thinnest strap all the way down to like regular dresses, and then long sleeve and up to the thickest one. And then I feel like this one, yeah, this one's her one of her robes. Um, yeah. So then we have over here we have jackets, and it also goes like thinnest to sorry I'm shaking so bad thinnest to thickest jacket. This is just a t-shirt with a vest, so that way, that's why that one's up top. But it's like cardigans, like stuff right here, pullovers. And then like thick winter jackets. That up there I cannot ah! reach so I can't really show you but that's books and yeah just books. Like books and her bibles and stuff. That up there is a puzzle and her cut like her big coloring pages. These are her shoes right here. Um, Just a few of them like her cowboy boots, her flats, her um, lammy from Doc McStuffins, slippers. And also her dance shoes are in the very bottom for my... My grandparents used to teach dance, or they still teach dance, actually. Um, but all of our dance shoes, mine and my sister's, are down here at the bottom. So, yeah, she'll use those when she gets older. And then we have a select few of uh, <laughs> her most loved toys, I guess, or stuffed animals. This is one is actually from Build-A-Bear. I, I get her a Build-A-Bear every year for Christmas. Um, I sadly cannot find last year or this year's Build-A-Bear. They're somewhere in storage, but I don't know where. Um, so that one, he is also missing a hat. But I also have an elf, and then I have one in, like, a sparkly, um, sequined red dress. Um, then it just goes all the way across. I had some, like, this one was when I was in the hospital. This one was when I was in the hospital. Um, hospital, 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 hospital. <laughs> that one I actually got in, um, SeaWorld when I was really, really little. And, well, I guess it wasn't really little. It was, like, 2009, but still. Um, that is her Wooly from the Denver, um, Mammoth Lacrosse team. She loves lacrosse. We love to go. It's, we've always gone, so. She likes that. Um, that's Wooly the Mammoth, and it's actually signed on the back of his jersey. And then this is actually my sister's old Minnie Mouse. It, we got it from Disneyland, and it was crazy expensive because she's, like, a fancy Minnie. Um... And then the rest of it is just other stuff. My great-grandma made that one, so. Well, it's a Cabbage Patch doll with the clothes she made, so. That one's pretty cool. And then we come down here, and these are all her dress-ups on the bottom. I didn't want to put any of her actual clothes on the bottom because I don't want her to get into them. Um, but this is actually just like a high, um, not a high chair, but a carrier for like her baby dolls, I guess. And then my cousin gave us all of her, all of her, um, dress-ups. So we have... Um, the blue is over here, and they're just regular dress-ups. That one's Ariel. This one is Cinderella. This one is just for dance, um, but it's still up there because it's like dress-up. That's Snow White. Um, Rapunzel. And then over here we have just a plain white one. Ah, my finger's stuck. Um, Barbie. More Barbie. Is this one Barbie too? Yeah, both Barbie. And then a leotard, another Leo with a tutu, and then she has two wedding dresses. I don't know where the heck my cousin got these from, but two wedding dresses. That was my favorite. Um, and then over here, we just have all of her backpacks. This is her frozen one that I just got her for Christmas. And then, um, just a, can you turn that light back on, please? And then just a bunch of, um, bags and her other backpack right there. Um, her hamper's right here, and then this is all, like, extra dress-up stuff, like gloves. This is actually that elf Build-A-Bear's shoe. Um, this was her St. Patty's Day. She has a veil for her wedding dresses and then all of her skirts down at the bottom, which she actually, they're dress-up skirts and they're made for dress-ups, but sometimes, um, like if we're going somewhere, um, like to the circus, she wore this one to the circus. So, I mean, they are super cute and can definitely be worn not in dress-up. So, hold on, let me turn the slight back on for you guys. Uh, that's the dog. So this is the next thing over, and we have nothing on this wall right now, but I want to get some, like, educational learning stuff on there, because she's learning French and sign language. So I'm going to try to get some learning stuff to go up there, um, hopefully. But anyway, so this uh, toy box was actually made by my grandpa. He made it for my older sister when she was a, a year old, so it's she's 21, so it's 20, 20, 20 and a half years old. Um, this is all handmade, hand-painted, everything, so we kept it, and my cousin, my sister had it, me, my other sister had it, and then my cousin had it, and now my daughter has it, because there's no other girls. <laughs> um, but, so yeah, it's just pink and white, and then when you open it up, it's just got all her toys in it, um, more stuffed animals, baby dolls, bouncy balls, drums, 
This little elephant thing is actually my nephew's, but she's in love with it, so my sister kind of just left it here. Um, more bouncy balls, more dolls. She loves dolls. <laughs> Another drum, and just a ton of other stuff down there <laughs> you really don't want to get into. Um, it doesn't close all the way. The thing, you know, is 20 years old, so it's, you know, got some wear and tear, but it doesn't close all the way, so she's more than likely to get into that than anything else. Um, but right here next to it, we have her Doc McStuffins kit. She loves Doc McStuffins. I cannot even tell you guys how in love with Doc she is. Um, so this is just like the whole kit my sister got her. It's got like a little way thing. Um, this she took the flower off. I gotta find the flower. Um, but it's a height chart and then this x-ray thing actually works, but she plays with it so much. Like, I'll show you. Let me show you. Like this works too, but I don't know if you can see that little tiny light. But it normally makes sound and whatnot, but she plays with it so much that her batteries are already out. She's only had it for like four months. So that's big book of boo-boos. And then she has a faucet. This is her camera that she was just playing with. And then she's got the dock, obviously. And then this is her, like, favorite, um, her favorite stuffed animal is Lammy. And she talks. So let me show you how creepy this thing is. I don't like her. I think she's super creepy, but Michaela loves her. Maybe. Maybe I'll show you. Is that Lammy? Can you turn the light on, please? So, yeah. Lammy's pretty creepy. And then we have her big book of boo-boos down here. Um, actually, stuff goes in there, but all of her, honestly, all of her dock stuff is in the living room because she plays with it every single day. And then she's got um, her dock kit on the go kit here. This is... Um, a like patient name and doctor diagnosis thing right there and her band-aids go in there this is actually really cool because you can wipe this this crayon is like dry erase crayon you can wipe, ooh, you can wipe that off so uh yep that's the doc and then there's nothing over here nothing really going and then we have this which is pretty beat up as you can see and it's pretty messy um, but this is actually my grandpa, the same grandpa that made the toy box, made this for us. Sorry if I made you a little dizzy. Um, he made this for us when we were little as well. It's a kitchen set, all hand built, everything, hand painted, all that. And we used to love this thing. So it definitely, we just put it in here for now to have somewhere to put it. But it definitely needs to be wiped down and we might repaint it, um, just to touch it up. So that knob is missing. She pulled it off actually and I can't find it so we may have to get another knob too or change out those knobs or something but she's got like um her like, pots and pans her cutting board her timer that's a little teapot thing and then she's got a mass amount of food and toys and whatnot in there I mean it's she's got like two whole tea sets a whole grocery set another whole grocery set and then pots and pans and all kinds of other good stuff in there. And then these don't really have anything in them. But I will... Oh, she put her strainer down there. So it's got a strainer and a frying pan. Um, but I'll just... I'll probably get more boxes from those there. I just don't have one that fits right now. Hey, can you please stop? Thank you. And then her sink. Mimi. Her sink and her drying rack. And then... Hey, woman. She's trying to reach her close. Sorry. And then her bed that she just ripped apart um, is right here. This was actually... Hold on. Get down. Thank you. Her bed is actually my great-grandma's bed. And I'm going to change this headboard out. I have a different headboard that I kind of want to use with it. This one is just a little big for this. Okay, go. Go watch Doc. Sorry, guys, she's been crazy. Um, but I actually have a smaller headboard that's like a vintage 50s looking headboard, so it's it's really cute. And it's like, it looks almost like this. I don't know why I won't focus, but it looks almost like this, but it's, um, uh, all like it's pleated like this, but it's all white and it's smaller and it has like gold detailing around it, so it's really, really pretty. Um, that'll probably end up going in here. And I don't have her comforter set because I think I might know what I want to do with her theme. Um, I definitely want to make it a country theme because she loves horses and stuff like that. So I'm thinking, um, I don't really know right now, but possibly camo, 
the only thing is, is we don't know exactly how long we're going to be in here. So if we're not here for a long time, um, I don't want to like buy a ton of room stuff because more than likely when we move out of here, we'll move back into somewhere where we have to share a room again. Um, so that's why I'm thinking more camo because all my stuff is going to be camo, um, which I'll do room tour on that when I get my room done whenever I get it done because it's a mess. Um, but it'll more than likely be like camo and pink and green or camo and pink and um, like tan. So, but right now it's just her, uh, her pink bed set um, that we used to have and then she put her elephant to bed. Uh, her frozen blanket that my mom made her for Christmas and then and just another little blanket under it. Um, as I was saying before she started jumping on everything, this is my great grandma's bed. She had some problems with falling out of the bed when they first moved her into her nursing home that she's in now. Um, so they got her this small bed and it still just wasn't working so they just moved her back into a regular bed. And because this one if she fell out of the bed she was only like, it's literally like a foot, maybe a foot off of the ground. So if she fell out of the bed she wouldn't fall very far so then... Um, they finally just, they just kept happening, so they moved her in another bed with a rail, they put a rail on the side of it. So, my grandma gave us this bed because they didn't have anything else to do with it, and I was going to put a day bed in here for my other grandma, but it sat like twice as high, maybe three times as high. It's, it's like a normal size day bed, so, I mean, <clears throat> I don't really know. And then we have this rug that was left for us from the guy that's um, house we're staying in. And then we also have in here, I don't really know what to do with this box, so it's just kind of sitting here. Hey, you get on there one more time, I'm gonna, here, come here, I'm gonna put you in time out. If you get on there one more time, okay? No. Okay, so in here is just like all of her VHS, like, I have a bajillion, but none of them are in her, in her cases, I don't know why. And then this Bronco hat, and then that's the M that I was talking about putting on the front of the door, so... I don't know. That's about it. So, again, an overview of her room and everything. So, yeah. There's that creepy lammy. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. And I will update you when there's more stuff like decals and pictures and stuff like that. And if we put a theme up. So, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys later. Bye.